Away with the Manger is about a man named Jackson Grimm. That would be me, the columnist for the Hartville Daily News. It's about the citizens of a small Midwest town. Never heard of Hartville? Well, don't worry about it. You're in good company. It's also about a letter. Now, there was no postage and no return address. It uh, could have come from anyone. Judging from what happened, it could have been an angel. It's about a manger scene. For more than 50 years, Hartville has enjoyed a simple manger scene on the lawn in front of City Hall. According to the City Council's decision, that manger scene has to be moved! <laughs> it's about music. Silent night, solstice night. Oh. It's about children. Brian loved anything outside. Outside meant playing in dirt and eating it. It's about celebrity. Join us tomorrow as we visit with a man who believes his dead wife came back as a hamster. <laughs> it's about shame. Well, most of the townsfolk of Hartville walked around bumping into things. Lamp posts, parked cars, each other. Apparently it's hard to see where you're going when you're staring at the ground. It's about pain. That day I held a broken son. A damaged life. It's about compromise. It's been moved. I just moved it. The manger scene now sits on church property. It's about heart. Rob, what are you doing out here? Well, I wanted to see. You wanted to see? You, you wanted to see what? Uh, what it feels like to be Jesus. Oh. So, uh, how does it feel? Uh, well, pretty cold. <laughs> it's about... The magic of Christmas, where you are transformed far away from all of your adult cares and worries, and that from somewhere deep down inside, you get the feeling that not only is everything going to be okay, but that somebody else is paying for it. But it's mostly about the year that Hartville went away with the manger. <laughs>